Good morning. Yes, it's morning. I'm streaming at 11 a.m. instead of at 1 p.m. Hmm, what's going on? Well, uh, I actually am going to be helping out one of my coaches later on today uh, that's going to run into a 1 o'clock broadcast time. Uh, so, I decided to go live a little early today and have a very quick chat with you. Uh, and if you'll excuse me for one second, I'm going to go turn some noise down. Much better. Not sure if you could even hear that, but just in case, now you can't. So, what we're going to be talking about today, uh, now that I'm back on camera, uh, and this is going to be our VEDA entry for today, and um, as is fairly normal for me, I'm going to go off topic. Uh, we're going to keep the talk today very quick, uh, under 40 minutes. I'm just kidding, like maybe five. Uh, so, we're going to have a very quick chat about the importance of never ceasing to learn, never seeking, or n never, all, <laughs> how do we say this? What I want to talk about is that we should always, always seek to continue learning in business and in our personal lives. Uh, there's so much that we can never know, uh, and there's so much that would be worth knowing for us all. Um, but why in the world am I rambling about this? Let's let's get to the point here. <laughs> so as I'm launching this project, uh, I went into it and I got a little complacent. I had studied and worked with some of my coaches and figured out some uh, really cool tricks and ideas and plans for how I was going to make this project work. Uh, and when it didn't immediately take off like I expected it to, um, sorry, my camera's freaking out a little bit. Uh, I got a little disillusioned, and I talked about that in the very first episode for VEDA this month, um, but uh, I got a little disillusioned because I had assumed that I knew everything I needed to know about making live video work, and making video work in general, and launching a, um, a content enterprise, uh, because I've also studied marketing, and practiced marketing, and worked with my you know, uh, clients and made their websites really sing and work and do amazing things. And that's awesome. Uh, but it has nothing to do with me. So, <laughs> um, never stop learning. Uh, I, I've worked with my coaches again this week. Uh, I've asked them and, and they've given me some very poignant, very quick, very easy advice. Let's see if that helps. Um, <laughs> that has really put me on the right track. It's gotten my thinking back straight. It's given me new places to look and, and learn and, and new ideas to ingest and, and work into my business. And that's the thing. The more successful you get in business, at least for me, the less likely I am to admit to myself that there's still things I need to know. Uh, that's why I was able to talk myself into going to uh, a conference with my my mentor Lou Mangello in October. I'm headed to his Momentum conference because yeah, I understand marketing, I understand advertising and strategy and and those things, but I don't understand necessarily product creation and audience building, which is not really the same thing as marketing. It's part of it; they are each part of the other. Um, but those are the things that I'm weak in, and and it's hard to admit when you have a weakness, but we have to. We have to be able to do that uh, and um, seek out the resources that are available to us. Use those mentors that you find. Use those coaches that you find. Um, I'll actually put a drop, drop a link. I, I linked to them the other day uh, in one of our streams. Uh, but Live Streaming Pros is who I'm working with specifically. I'm taking their course, and I'm a member of their members-only group. Um, and that's where they really helped put me back on track this week uh, in particular. Uh, so, if you are looking to incorporate live in your marketing strategy or in your business, uh, definitely check out Live Streaming Pros. Again, I'll, I'll link them here um, in just a moment in the description of this show and in the comments. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, I wanted to be very quick today. I think that might have even been under three minutes. <laughs> it was. Uh, so, let me know, too, if 11 a.m. is a better time for you than 1 p.m. trying to figure out what time of day is going to work best for my audience. I'm also going to focus on Facebook for live video, at least for now. Um, I will still publish those videos back to YouTube after the fact, but I really want to focus and, and master live streaming on Facebook. That's the 
the platform I know the very best. Uh, I know the advertising better than I know any other advertising on Facebook. Uh, so that's what we're, that's going to be where I focus my live streaming efforts. Um, and I'm rambling again. So I'm going to let you get back to your day, but let me know if uh, 11 a.m. works better for you or 1 p.m. works better for you or if you'd prefer that I do it after business hours. Let me know what works best for you because that's what I want to do. I want to be able to interact with you guys live instead of uh, staring at two people watching my video. <laughs> no, that's okay. Guys, have a great day. Go out and make the life you want to live, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks.